and gentlemen, it's Amy here from Aim to Please Designs. We're here today to talk to you about masks. Of course, what else would it be, right? Today is Tuesday, so it is a Tip Tuesday day. I have something interesting that you might like to hear about. So today we're talking about the ear loops. We've been talking about ear loops for a while. Last week we did the little... Um, the pull these pulling the, these off the tabs off so we're going to do a something a slightly different all right let's say you have one of these masks and the have the adjustable and you lose it we, we have talked about this but i just learned a little trick that i thought you guys would like so if these little dangly things right here drive you nuts all right we'll, we'll imagine it was on here that little black one was on here and you got it out of the wash or your kids were playing with it or you didn't realize it and you pulled it off, right? So you have this thing and you can't get it back on because it is a bear to put it back on. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the middle, just like so, and you're gonna cut it just like so. These, I don't know if these are tall enough. These are not. Hey, we're back. And we have used a scissor, a bigger scissor, the one that we know that works. Uh, we put the uh, two, the string together, centered it in the center, and we cut it right through the center. All right, so we got two pieces. So now I'm gonna show you how to make a slip knot. So you have this one, so you can move it back and forth. You see that? You can make it, you can pull one side and make it tighter and then the other way and make it tighter as well. All right, just like so, and loosen it up. All right, that's how you do that. So this is how you do it. So you have two pieces. Very simple, very simple to do. A lot easier than like a noose knot. This slip knot is you use two ends, right? First you take one end of it and you make a little loop, okay? Make the loop closest to the end as possible. All right, like close to that end, all right? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the other end and you're gonna cross it over, make the cross, make that piece go over that part and you're gonna wrap it around. Let's see if I can do this. Let's make sure I do it right. Okay, so you take the little loop because you got to have a little end to it. Make a little B or a little loop. Put it um, on top of the other. That's it. So it's crossed. So it's going to cross over, right? Cross behind the other. Can you see what I'm doing? Cross behind the other strap, other piece of the strap, and through. All right, so that's it. Just cross around and be, put a little half knot in there. So you can move it. So you can move move it back and forth, like so. Okay. So it's loose on that side. And then you pull it down. So then you take the bigger side, right, like so. And, because I'm backwards. So you make a little B. You cross it over the strap. Over here. Bring it around. Put it through the hole. And you're good to go. Put it through the hole. There it is. There's the there's this the right knot. Okay, so then you loosen it up there, and you loosen up there, and then that's that's tight. See, that's a lot bigger. So we have to loosen it up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one side and slide it all the way up, and slide this one all the way up, and all the way up, and all the way up, like that. And you got more equal sides. One side. And the other side. When you get the size that you need, it's perfect and it fits your face good. And then you put it on your face, put it around your ears, 
And if it fits good, you know it's right. And then when you know it's right, if you don't mind the extra st string on there, go ahead and leave it on there. Uh, or if you want to go ahead and cut off, sorry y'all, if you want to cut off those extra edges, you can. You can trim that off if you want. All right? And that's how you do it. Slip knots on ears. Thanks for watching and I...